Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now Vault. It's July 4th, 1850, or thereabouts, in the frontier community known as Buffalo Forks. Hey, the settlers Rick. here, Independence Day, means time to relax. Time to look over the handiwork of local traders and to compare skills no longer essential with the axe as well as the shooting eye. The folks who recreate these scenes from the past call themselves buckskinners. Folks like Ron Larson, who shunned tents for teepees and Coleman stoves for a fire and a bubbling pot of beans. It was Larson who selected this wooded spot along the Wapsie Pinnacle for the campsite. According to his research, it was here that Buffalo Forks was started. Its name later changed to Dartmouth, later Lexington, and finally Anamosa, after an Indian maiden who once wandered through the area. According to Larson, anyone who wandered through this spot 129 years ago would have seen a 4th of July celebration much like this one. Oh, in the 1840s, there would uh, be what's called a rendezvous. Uh, would have a setup similar to this. Trappers from all over. Probably be uh, some military in to keep the peace. And uh, lots of fireworks. <laughs> For most of us, the 1850s are something we just read about in history books. But events like the rendezvous give us a chance to not only see how it might have been, but to even participate. Mark Cooper, Channel 2 News Watch, celebrating the 4th of July frontier style near Anamosa.